For years, investors have been looking for a way to predict the market moves. A new study says there may be a way to do it using something that everybody can get access to. Hmm, what could that be? Well, it's a magical indicator, apparently, and it's called Twitter. Johan Ballin is associate professor at Indiana University Center for Complex Networks and System Research. Uh, good to see you. It's not often I see an academic paper, you know, complete with the uh, the two columns, the tiny print and multiple pages that says Twitter, exactly, you know, <laughs> academically done. We got all sorts of calculus yeah, here. I, I, Twitter mood predicts the stock market. You have run the algorithms, done the calculus. Johan, what did you find? Well, what we found, found is that uh, the public mood, as expressed on Twitter, you know, by millions of people posting their uh, Twitter feeds uh, uh, on, on a daily basis, uh, uh, fluctuates over time. And that those fluctuations, at least along one of the mood dimensions that we measure, namely calm versus anxious, is actually correlated with the Dow Jones Industrial Average closing values. And that was pretty surprising to us because we were expecting that the public mood would actually follow the Dow Jones Industrial Average in the sense that if it goes up, people are happy. If it goes down, people are sad, but it turns out that in our correlations, or at least what we could observe, yeah. that the uh, that the movements in the public mood actually predated by three to four days the uh, move the up and down movements of the Dow Jones Industrial Average. Okay, so let's say I buy that correlation three to four days ahead of where the market goes. I can tell, I can predict it on Twitter. How do you determine? whether Twitter is anxious or not anxious or I mean are you looking for keywords I'm not I mean, seeing it here how do you how do you determine well the, the, the way that we do that is that we look at the text content so a tweet is only 140 characters so the very short messages that people post on on Twitter and what we do is we look at tweets where people say things like I feel uh, sad I feel happy uh, I'm, I'm kind of anxious I'm concerned about uh, you know something in pol uh, politics and so on so we're looking for particular markers and we've got a, a pretty large so not the mundane tweets about, I'm going to the bathroom. Well, even those, if, if they contain particular words that are indicative of a specific mood state, we can pick that up in our, uh, by our methods, and, uh, and that gets as added. In, as, as in, I'm sad, so I'm going to the bathroom. Well, perhaps you are. Maybe you had a <laughs> bad possible. experience there. Could, yeah, it may be a bad experience, but it, you know, could, the, it, it, what, what I'm trying to say is that it's not the individual tweet so much that we're interested in, but sort of the pattern over you know, millions of tweets being submitted on a daily basis. <laughs> And Certainly, so that all adds up and provides us with some kind of a, you know, a sense of you know, what's going on. It's hard to argue with you because you worked at Los Alamos, so you literally are a rocket scientist. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it's, it seems to me that most of the activity on Twitter is among younger people. And, uh, you know, the, the demographic skews younger. Well, that and for that reason, I, and, and I mean no disrespect to the younger people, it's just that they have limited experience in the investing world, and I would, I would question whether they you know, can be an indicator. Well, what we're, what we're not saying is that the, uh, the Twitter audience, by the way, which is much larger than, uh, than many industrialized nations yeah. uh, at this point, right? we're not saying that it actually sort of mechanically, causally influences the, the Dow Jones Industrial Average, yeah. but it's perfectly possible that a lot of investors are on Twitter as well, and they pick up sort of the, the general zeitgeist, yeah. and then that gets translated somehow, perhaps even unconsciously, into their investment strategies. All right, that certainly could be true. I mean, I'm, I'm one of those old guys who doesn't use that technology, but a lot of older people do. So that's right. Well, Johan, thank you.